Hello, I'm Tim Doria, and in this video we're going to look at how to create a stratified random sample in Excel. Okay, so here's my Excel spreadsheet, and we have about 200 records with several different columns. You could have any number of columns. Now, what separates a simple random uh, sampling from a stratified sampling is with a stratified sampling, we want to select a certain number of records from each grouping or each strata uh, for, of our data set. So, for example, in this case, we have type as one of our columns. Say if we want to, out of the 200 records, select 10 electronic records at random from the 200 and 10 paper records at random from all the entire data set. That would be a stratified random sampling because we're requiring a certain number of random samples per group or per uh, strata. All right, so how do we do this? It starts off much the same as doing a simple random sampling. We create a new column that I'm going to call random. It doesn't matter what you name it. And then we're going to type in equals R-A-N-D, open close parentheses, enter. Now what that does is it and that's a function that creates or generates a random value between 0 and 1 in Excel. Now we want to do or create a random value for each of the 200 records. So to do that quickly, we simply click on the cell that we just created and double click on the lower right hand corner of the cell. And what that does is it now will apply or create that function in each one of the 200 rows that we have. Now, the problem with the RAND function is that each time we refresh this screen, it's going to generate a new random value. And what we want to do is actually store the, the, the random value that it generated in just this one instance. So to do that, we select the entire column. So just click on the D header here. And I'm going to do Control C. That means we've copied this column. I'm going to go up here to paste, and I'm going to click on paste values. So what you'll notice now if you click on any of these cells is that instead of the rand function, we now have the value itself, the random value that was generated by that function stored into these cells. All right, so the next step now is to highlight the entire data set by simply selecting the top uh, from the header here, column A, and then dragging to the right, letting go on D. So we have our, our entire data set selected. And now we're going to go to data, sort, depending on which version of Excel the sort command might be in a, a different uh, header. So just uh, keep your eyes on that. OK, so I'm just going to delete out these uh, columns that they have here. So the first step is I want to add in the group or this, the strata that we want to take a random sampling uh, of. So I'm going to click on Add Level. And in this case, we want to do, say, 10 electronic and 10 paper. So I'm going to click on Sort By. I'm going to click on Type. The order is arbitrary, so we can keep the default. Now, the very last thing I want to sort on is the random value that we just generated. So I'm going to click on Add Level, Random, and Order Doesn't Matter. And so now, this, when we run this sort, we're going to be able to create or to extract a random stratified sampling based on type. Click on OK. All right, so going back to our example, if we wanted 10 randomly selected electronic records and 10 randomly se selected paper records, all we need to do now is simply take the first 10 electronic. And after we do that, we're going to go down here to where the paper starts, and we'll take the first 10 paper. And that's it. That's how we create a stratified sampling. Now, say if we wanted to get a little more complex and we wanted to take a, a stratified sampling but including in two different groupings. So say we wanted to do five new electronic records, five old electronic, five new paper, and five old paper. How would we do that? So let's go back and highlight all of our data. I'm going to go back to sort. And all you need to do now, it's very simple. You just add another level, and you select the additional column that you want to be able to sample from. So I'm going to click Status. Now this is important. Make sure that you have the random value as the last row here. It's the last thing that we should be sorting on. I'm going to click on OK. And now we, hit, we can very easily take a random stratified sampling from, of five from each of our groups. So we'll take the first five new electronic. I'm then going to scroll down here. We'll take the first five old electronic. 
scroll down here. We'll take the first five new paper, scroll down a little more, and we'll take the first five old paper. Okay, and each of those first five represents a random sampling, or rather a random stratified sampling from our entire data set of 200 records. And that's how you do random, random stratified sampling in Excel.